Now, as the COVID-19 lockdown continues to keep many of us at home, it can be easy to fall into bad habits. The detrimental psychological and physical effects of lockdown are well documented. With all the change and uncertainty in life at the moment, taking care of your mental health has never been more important. There are several benefits associated with positive mental well-being. Joining us now is Larry Ulushola, a life coach. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. All right, I think we do not have him. Do we have him? Lanry, are you with us? Good afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, hi. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm good. Happy to see you. All right. Since we're all experiencing it's lockdown at, at different degrees, would mental stamina uh, be your key recommendation for an experience such as this? What does that even mean? Yeah, so, you know, um, thank you very much for having me. You know, um, COVID-19 is really, really disruptive. And so a lot of people need to understand the concept of it. It deals with physical, which is, you know, the physical blow that it deals. It deals more with the psychological blow. And, you know, psychologically, emotionally, a lot of people are afraid. They are they're scared. They are worried. They are anxious and panic and they're stressed. And you know that 95% of all disease is caused by stress. All right, um, let's start from the top where we were before um, we went on that break. Um, the, the, the lockdown is being experienced at different level. Uh, would mental stamina um, be your recommendation um, as we go through this period? And what does mental stamina really mean? All right, you know, like I was saying earlier on, um, the COVID-19 is dealing both with a psychological and a physical blow. Um, a lot of people are recording the death, uh, and, and death is the result of, you know, your biology and your medical condition, which is physical. However, um, a more lasting medium to long-term problem with COVID-19 will be the psychological and emotional blow that it deals on you. And 95% of all disease is caused by stress, which is a function of what is happening to many people now. A lot of people are afraid. A lot of people are worried. They're anxious and they're stressed. And so that requires a lot of mental stamina. And so as we are today, we must develop our abilities to develop our mental stamina. And this is a measure of your resilience. It's a measure of your self-belief, the measure of your resolve and your confidence to be able to survive in any given environment. It's what is responsible for survival, for thriving, and for success in every chosen field of endeavor. And so one of the most critical things that people need today is mental stamina. You cannot mess around with it. You have to develop your mental stamina. And there are different things that you can do, and I'm going to, just going to share seven critical things that you can do to develop your mental you know, stamina. Number one, is you know you have to be careful about the information that you take in your information influences your thoughts your thoughts influences your beliefs your beliefs influence your your, your emotions and your emotions are very critical to your biology and so the information that you take in is very very key the second thing that you must do is you must think positively at all times which means that you must see positive in all things and you must hear positive and you must believe positive and feel positive. The third thing that you need to do is to build your self-confidence, your self-esteem, your self-worth, and your self-belief. The fourth thing that you need to do is to practice what we call visualization. You have to visualize the ends that you desire. You have to visualize the mission that you're here for. You have to constantly put in front of you the purpose for which you are living for and the reason for your existence. The fifth thing is you have to plan for failure and, and setbacks. Now, look, failure is feedback. And for every success attempt, there will be several failure attempts. And there's nobody that has succeeded in this life that has not suffered any setback. And so you must incorporate setbacks into every single thing that you do. And most importantly, you must manage your stressors. There are particular things that stress you. A lot of people are worried about you know, their, their lives. 
A lot of people are worried about their business. A lot of people are worried about their families. A lot of people are worried about their jobs and their businesses. What triggers your stress? You must master that. And lastly, it is important for you to sleep. It is important for you to exercise. It is important for you to ensure that you take care of yourself. Spiritually, you pray and you meditate. You take care of yourself psychologically. You take care of yourself emotionally. You take care of yourself physically. You most importantly, take care of yourself relationally and make sure you take care of yourself environmentally. Larry, that was really um, very well thought out. Thank you very much for sharing that insight. Thank you.